periods of menstruation is something that happens in the life of every young girl from the time of puberty to the time of menopause and it is something that is not comfortably discussed in our society today in this video i'm going to be talking about the period signs that when you see them that means you need to speak to your doctor as soon as possible Linda Eze here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and I work in the UK. In this channel, I share information about nursing abroad, healthcare and lifestyle. So please subscribe if you're seeing me for the first time and let's go into today's topic. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the signs that when you see every month during your period days that you need to speak to your doctor as soon as possible. Possible. The first one is excessive pain. What do I mean? So many women experience pain monthly like during their menstruation or during their period days and what happens is that some people actually take these pains as normal some like some cultures or some beliefs make it like if you have pain that you don't even need to take medication in my last video i showed i shared information on what you can do to relieve this pain because it happens every month and you wouldn't allow yourself to continue to experience such pain you have to find ways to look after yourself when you have this pain so that you'll be able to carry on with your daily life but if you discover that this pain is preventing you from going to school if you're a student from going to work or looking after your children if you're your mom or making you not to so uncomfortable that you cannot live your normal life even when you have applied everything like taking medication putting um hot water bottles in your in your pelvic region and everything and it's not working then it is a time for you to go and speak to a professional I know that in some countries in many countries you have to pay to see the doctors and everything so some people then they decide to just keep these things to themselves and suffer every month but if i want to like encourage you if you're a very young girl speak to your parents try and make sure that you speak to a professional tell them that these are interfering with your daily life you're not able to do things that you're supposed to do that you have tried tell them what you have tried and then it is it is now their responsibility to find out, you know, explore ways to help you, explore ways to make you to be able to be comfortable every month. Because if you are not comfortable every month, you know what it can do to your self-image and your confidence. So speak to a professional if your period pain is making you uncomfortable and you are not able to do anything during this. In some cases, it might not be anything serious, but in some cases, it could be something that is more serious than just the pain. Maybe there is a problem with something in the pelvic region, the organs in the pelvic region. So do check it out if the pain is too much. It's very, very important that you... The second one is if you notice that after every sexual intercourse, if you have a partner that you always bleed, or that you, you've not been experiencing that before but all of a sudden after every sex you have blood stains or you bleed not just the stains but like you bleed for a, a significant amount that you know is not just because of friction or anything then it's something that you really need to check out don't hide it speak to somebody speak to your partner and speak to a professional so that you make sure that everything is checked out to make sure that the organs and everything down there is actually normal then if it is normal that's fine but it's better that you check it out like every time you have sex you have bleeding every time that you have sex you have bleeding and it is very significant that is not something that you have to keep to yourself it's something that you need to speak to your doctor sometimes it might be police it might be infection it might be like something that is just very wrong around there and you need someone that is experienced to speak um that to that is experienced to look at it and look at it and know how to help the third one is too much bleeding like heavy bleeding that is outside the one that you already know just stay with me to the very end because i'll also share what could affect your a period day that is not all these things that i'm mentioning so when you experience too much bleeding heavy bleeding that is different from the ones that you have been experiencing that you change your part like every hour every two hours and it's so full when you go to the toilet then it is so much you really feel like maybe you start feeling tired you really feel like you're bleeding a lot then you need to speak to a doctor don't keep it to yourself i know how private this is in so many places when i was growing up i know how private i was about anything that's happening down there but i know it is something that is very crucial that we speak to a professional if you know that the bleeding that you're experiencing in a particular month is too much 
is too much is making you like uncomfortable or you are afraid you're changing your path more frequently than not sometimes it might not maybe it's just something that happened or you're stressed or like it's just a one-off thing maybe it's not something serious but it's better you check it out make sure you check it out with someone maybe it is something that's really serious that they need to like find out early and help you to deal with it so the fourth one is your spirit suddenly disappears i know this causes a lot of scare to so many young women especially and i know that it can be a joy if you're married as well but if your period actually disappears and you're not pregnant and you monitor yourself and you're still not pregnant and you check and you're still not pregnant that is something that you need to speak to a professional then they will have to actually look and see if you are pregnant if you're pregnant that's fine but if you're not pregnant maybe there could be something that they will detect that is not normal or if everything is fine then you are more comfortable but do check it out if all of a sudden you stop seeing your period if you have been seeing your period regularly and all of a sudden it disappears then it's definitely something that you have to check out I know because every woman sees um, their period approximately every month. Some some people's cycle that are long, it's possible that some months you um, you may not see your period because if your period cycle is, if your menstrual cycle is more than 30 days and you see your period late in a particular month, the next month you might not see it, but you should be expecting to see your period early the following month. But if you still don't see your period early the following month, then it's definitely something that you need to check out and you need to speak to a doctor. So the fifth one is you suddenly discover that you bleed constantly. That is you're not menstruating but you continue to see sometimes you see spots, sometimes you see significant bleeding, sometimes you continue to bleed like I know it is something that is strange but women do experience this kind of thing. If you know you experience this kind of thing anytime at all, it is time to speak to a doctor. I know I it's, it's, sometimes it could be that someone has fibroid or a growth or something down there, but it's definitely something that you need to speak to a professional as soon as possible. If you know you're bleeding in between your period, like it's not yet your period and you start bleeding and then it continues and then it stops and then it continues like that, Women do experience this kind of thing and if you do, speak to a professional so that they will have a look and see what is going on there and help you as soon as the possible. The sixth one that is similar to the last one I talked about is intermenstrual bleeding. Maybe you are bleeding in between your periods. No, it is not continuous but you know you have finished your period but maybe after one week or two weeks, you will now see a significant bleeding that even lasts for the day or that yeah, you know it's, it looks like period and then all of a sudden it stops and then when your period is supposed to come then you will still see your normal period it's something that you need to talk to a doctor about sometimes it could be anything about maybe you got pregnant and then it, it could be anything that is normal but it could be something different but you need to speak to your doctor if you keep seeing that the next month you the same thing happens then you need to speak to a professional to have a look and see if there is anything wrong if nothing is wrong yay but if something is wrong then it will be detected early and you get the necessary help the seventh one but not the least one is menstruation starting again after you have experienced menopause sometimes i know like that menopause some people's experience they don't just their menstruation doesn't just stop abruptly sometimes women experience like their 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 menstruation starts like tapping out like um you see if you have been seeing it for five days then it reduces all of a sudden then the next month you don't see it. then the next month you see it and gradually like that it disappears then but if it has disappeared finally that you know that you you have experienced monopause maybe you've not seen it for a year you've not seen it for one year you've not seen it for like six months all of a sudden you start seeing something that looks like menstruation like a whole day like significant um, even if it's not significant but you start seeing blood again then it's something that you need to look out for you need it's something that you need to speak to a professional please this is these things are very very important because i know i've worked with young women and i know how women hide some of these things when it comes to something that happens in the pelvic region when anything happens down there women hide it a lot even to the point of pregnancy 
so if you know any girl that is around you that is experiencing something like that that you have the privilege of knowing that these things are happening be an advocate for that person to speak to a professional it could be a the difference between somebody actually living a full life or somebody actually experiencing something terrible so speak speak to the doctor if you experience any of these signs and if you know someone that is experiencing any of these signs please help the person to speak to a professional if it's a young girl please help that young girl to see a professional and that will make a whole lot of difference well even with all these things that i shared there are actually things that can affect your period that will make it to change we could be from exercising extremely from changing environment from stress maybe you change contraceptive or you changed you started a new contraceptive all these things can actually affect how you see your period so sometimes it's not just all um sometimes it's scanty or maybe it's heavy i know personally if i'm stressed sometimes i my period is heavier than it's usually be but it's not going to continue that way then if i uh, maybe if i change environment or when i got married i, I became um, sexually active my period also changed you know like it's the 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 cycle changed that it wasn't like exactly the same way i've been seeing it so some of those life events some of those changes can actually affect your period but then you know as a girl when something feels normal or when you are worried remember sometimes it's not because something is wrong that you see the professional sometimes it's for you to just clear your mind so that you will not be so worried because sometimes something will be going on you'll be worried you're not talking about it but it's still bothering oh why is this thing heavy oh why am i expressing this so much pain oh why am i seeing blood in between you know when you are worried like that you know it affects everything about you if I, so as a self-care routine when you are worried so much about things that are going on uh, uh, in your life it's better to speak to a professional like if you are experiencing any of these things or you feel it is still normal but it's making you comfortable you're not sure is it normal or is it not normal even as i am sometimes i still feel like something i know is normal but it is disturbing me a lot i will still like pick up the phone and speak to somebody to know um that the person that second person will just be a second checker for me oh yeah it's okay this is this, this so it makes me feel oh somebody else said it's fine so speak to someone if you're worried so, about thank you so much for watching this video thank you for coming by if you're new remember to subscribe and share and always come back for more i'm continuing with this self-care series and i'm sure that you will not regret being part of this family i love you and i wish you all the best in your life and everything that you do bye